Hello, and welcome to a new episode of 7 Facts. Here we talk about the hidden and unknown facts of every territory, state or country of the world. There are also some history videos too, so if you're interested in such things, please, subscribe. Bremen, officially the free Hanseatic city of Bremen, is the smallest and least populous of Germany's 16 states. It consists of the city of Bremen, as well as the small exclave of Bremerhaven, a small exclave surrounded by the larger state of Lower Saxony. Bremen is a major cultural and economic hub in the northern regions of Europe, home to dozens of historical galleries and museums, ranging from historical sculptures to major art museums. The marshes and moraines around Bremen have been home to people since 12,000 BC, while the city itself was founded in 787 AD as a Catholic diocese. The archbishops of Bremen were among the driving force behind the Christianization of Northern Europe, so the impact of this city on European history is not at all negligible. So why is this state called a free Hanseatic city? Well, it has to do with the city's past, as it used to belong to the Hanseatic League. This was a commercial and defensive confederation of merchant guilds and market towns in northwestern and central Europe. In medieval Europe, it dominated the Baltic maritime trade, and its territory stretched from the Baltic to the North Sea. Hansa is the old Germanic word for convoy, hence the name Hanseatic. These cities maintained certain levers of sovereignty, having their own legal system and even their own army. Bremen's history as an autonomous city-state, however, began even before this. Since 888 AD, the city had the right to hold its own markets, mint its own coins and make its own customs laws. Amazingly, Bremen managed to maintain various degrees of autonomy for most of its history to this day. The other part of the state of Bremen is the small exclave of Bremerhaven, literally meaning Bremen's harbor. The city was founded in 1827, but its history goes way back to the 9th century and its relationship with Bremen started in the 14th century. Probably the most destructive period of Bremerhaven was during World War II. The seaport was the most critical North Sea base of the German Navy, and by the end of the war, 80% of Bremerhaven was destroyed by Allied bombings. In 1947, the city was handed over by the Allies to the German government, and became part of the state of Bremen, once again acting as the overseas port of its larger sister city. The German fairy tale route is a 600 km long tourist attraction that starts in Hanau and ends in Bremen. Tourist attractions along the route are focused around the famous brothers Wilhelm and Jakob Grimm, including locations where they lived and worked at various stages in their life, as well as regions which were linked to their fairy tales. Numerous picturesque medieval towns can be found along the route that look exactly like the ones we've seen in various Disney fairy tales. At the end of the route is Bremen, which is associated with the popular fairy tale, The Town Musicians of Bremen. This is literally a trip down memory lane. In the central market square of Bremen stands the statue of Roland, a paladin of the first Holy Roman Emperor, Charlemagne. He is regarded as a symbol of civic liberty and freedom, and even a symbol of a new united Europe. Statues of Roland used to be found all around the Holy Roman Empire, but the one in Bremen is the oldest surviving example. That statue stands there since the year 1404. According to legend, Bremen will remain free and independent for as long as Roland stands watch over the city. For this reason, it is alleged that the second Roland statue is kept hidden in the town's hall underground vaults, which can be quickly installed as a substitute should the original fall. The city's most famous street, called Böttcherstrasse, is only 100 meters long and has only seven buildings, among which are the houses and fountains of Robinson Crusoe, Atlantis and the Seven Lazy Brothers. The street is famous for its unusual architecture and ranks among the city's main cultural landmarks. Most of its buildings were erected between 1922 and 1931. 
The street and its buildings are a rare example of an architectural ensemble belonging to brick expressionism. Although this ensemble was built at the initiative of a Nazi sympathizer, his creation was viewed as degenerate and was rejected by Hitler himself. Today, Böttcherstrasse is one of the major tourist attractions of Bremen and is certainly not viewed as anything less than beautiful. In Bremen, you can reach for the stars. Well, kinda. The city is home to Airbus Astrium and the headquarters of OHB System, respectively the first and the third space companies of the European Union. The Columbus module of the International Space Station was constructed in Turin, Italy, but the functional equipment and software of the lab were designed by Airbus in Bremen. The module was also fully integrated in Bremen before being flown to the Kennedy Space Center in an Airbus Beluga. The life-size replica of the Columbus module shows the different research facilities, so if you're into that kind of stuff, be sure to put Bremen on your destinations. These were 7 facts about Bremen. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to support me, consider becoming a patron. You'll find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.